I recently bought this uh, Nook HD Plus for 110 at one sale a day. This is the box that it came in. I already kind of pre-opened it. Um, it didn't say one sale a day. Instead, it said Ben's Outlet. I bought this on August 17th. Received it finally. I think it shipped on the 28th or 29th, and I finally received it on September 5th. It was supposed to come on the 6th. It was shipped UPS ground. Um, and so here's the Nook HD Plus for 110. It's pre-owned, certified pre-owned. So you can see the condition's pretty good. No bumps or bruises. And but the sticker is looks like it's been doesn't look like it's on tight, so it's been opened. So how about uh and as you see the packaging, there was no popcorn or anything in there, it was just like this, so kind of concerning. So let's open this. It's certified pre-owned, so it comes with a one-year warranty. There is some concern since uh, we're not sure who's going to warranty it. So opening it up reveals this. Here's the charger. It uses a special charging cable, which isn't exactly a micro which isn't exactly a micro, uh, what's it called? Micro USB connection. As you can see, it uses a special connector. And here's the charger. It's probably around 10 watts or something. And here's the Nook HD. It looks really nice. Incomplete new packaging. So, let me fix this. I mean, let's un open it. Slide it out. And looking at it, I can't tell if it's been used. Looks pretty new to me. The screen's in pretty decent quality. So again, this is for $110. It's powered on. I think this is the power bar on the top right. So is there anything else? There's some nook reading over here. Nothing else. Booting up for the first time. Let's use American English. It wants me to set Wi Fi. Let me pause this so I can enter it in. Okay, I accidentally reset the tablet. But let's do this. Continue with setup. I wish I could skip this. It's gonna up, do an update. Yes, I read the terms of green. Agree. I don't want to create an account. Oh, anyways, I'll show this later. But. Looks pretty in decent condition. 
this is the case that I bought for seven dollars. I just wanted a cheap case, so I'll set this up later. Looks practically new. So this is my Nook HD Plus tablet, which I got from one sale a day for one hundred ten dollars. Uh, I finally had a chance to try it out when I first got the tablet. It was charged up to 80%. I don't know what it is now. I think maybe I have to press the battery. But anyways, um, using it, the I've used a, a Nook tablet before, and I really didn't like the OS, that customized version of the OS. Um, using it to surf the web. See, see, I don't even know where how to get to the web. Uh, I think again from over here or sliding. This definitely isn't uh, user friendly in my case. Let's press the home button. Yeah, that's that'll get me back. So then the web. If I search for something like Yahoo, it's a little slow for me. I didn't want that. I just want to search something. It's kind of slow to me. Gosh. But anyways, uh, I just want to be able to install Play Store. When I opened up the Nook, I noticed it didn't have Play Store on it. So if I go here to All Settings, um, and go to device information. Oh, there it says 72% now. How do you go back? Ah. Uh. So I go to device information here. Uh, and then it says software versions 2.06 so I probably need to update it so how do I update the software maybe it's under general mm, applications okay. oh, I just want to update this nook if I can so let me go update I'll figure it out okay okay so updating the Tablet's pretty easy. I just have to go again to settings, device information, then click on software version. Now it has a check for updates button. Ah. And then I just click check for updates. And now it's updating. So hopefully, when I update this, it'll have a Play Store and I can. Add some free apps easily. I'll let that do that. But anyways, uh, here's the Nook tablet. It's practically new, even though it's certified pre-owned. Has a one-year warranty, and uh, so far everything works on it. So just wanted to say that as I unbox this Nook tablet. Okay, finally got to update my Nook tablet, and now on my apps, I have a whole bunch of more apps added. There's YouTube app now, uh, Chrome app, and what I'm looking for is the Play Store app right over here, which is the most useful one to me because now I can download and install a bunch of free apps. And so I was Originally, I'm going to go to settings, on version, if I look up device information, I was on 2.06 or something. Now I'm on 2.1, so with that update, I can finally have access to all of the apps available to me. So that's a really added plus that I'm pretty sure deterred quite a few people from getting the Nook tablets.